Hi, I'm Scott North, Director of Corporate and Private Events at TO Live. We're in the St. Lawrence Centre, which is down on 27th Front Street, downtown Toronto. And this is part of a new series of videos that we're doing to hopefully help uh, event planners and producers prepare for ever coming into our spaces for a private event. We're gonna do a site inspection here, virtual site inspection, just me. I'm gonna treat it like I've got a client with me. So we're going to, we're going, no cuts, no edits. So if I make a mistake, so be it. But here we are, St. Lawrence Center. We've got kind of the ticketing area for, for ticketing shows, obviously, but uh, uh, we use this space for registration. You can have tables set up here for your guests coming in. We have two theater spaces here. We're gonna start with the Jane Mallet Theater, so follow me. of the Jane Mallet space right now. Um, there's some monitors here that you could get some digital signage up, some content from your company up there for events you're having. This is a smaller of the spaces. Uh, inside is 499 seats, but I say that now because there's one point that I need to bring up. On these two levels, lower lobby, upper lobby, it only holds a total of 287 people in theater style, or sorry, reception style. So. If you're going to have a party, you can't have the full capacity in there out here on these two spaces. Hopefully in that case, we could uh, open up the, the lobby spaces of the other theater, but 287 on these two levels. We've got a bar in here. We've got furniture throughout. It's odds and ends though. If, if you can use it, then great. That's, that's part of it. But if we need to bring in more furniture, we can certainly do that. We have uh, Chairman Mills is one of our great suppliers. We've been working with them for years and they have uh, chairs and, and, and everything. Then there's divine furniture, as well as contemporary furniture, uh, two other, other suppliers. And basically, whatever you need furniture-wise, we can get it in here. Come on into the theater. Jane Mallet Theater, 499 seats. There's 275 on the lower level, so that would bring us to 224 up top. It's got a semicircle protruding stage. So you see that cyclorama there, the backdrop, that, that's the end of it. There is no, you can, you can go off the wings and into uh, back of house, but there's no backstage there. Or, uh, it's not a proscenium stage, which the Bluma is. So great space for, small meetings, presentations, um, and anything that you would have 499 people or less, because even with you know, 275, 250, even 100 people works in here. Sorry. Good. Now we'll just we'll quickly show you up top here, and I apologize, I'm about to sneeze. We're not even gonna edit that out. Maybe it'll pass. This, this is the coolest thing about this upper wall. Look at, look at, we are right downtown Toronto, so look at the view that you see through this window. Nothing says downtown Toronto like the CN Tower. So we'll just have a look around up here. Uh, male and female washrooms up here. Uh, it's it's a, just an upper level lobby, typically just to go into the upper area of the theater, but we do have receptions. We, we even had like, we've had small dinners up here at round tables as well. And 
And there is, a, there is a pathway that goes to the upper level, upper lobby of the Bluma Theater as well, but we're gonna go down and show you how you go into the Bluma from, as, a, as a guest entering the space. Okay, so main entrance is out here, and then just straight ahead, Jane Mallet to the left is Bloom. So we're going into the Bloom lobby right now. And first of all, as we're here, I, I want to introduce everybody to somebody, or I'm, I'm just gonna mention her name. Wakfun Yukobo is on the other side of the camera. Wackman is our social media specialist. She's our podcast producer. She's our video producer. She has all kinds of things with TO Live. Uh, I, I couldn't do all of this without her. So thanks, hats off to Wackman behind the camera. Okay, so lower lobby of the Bloom Appell Theater. You look around, it's, it's got great uh, lighting from outside. You look across directly to Berksy Park. We got a bar on either end. There's a coat check here. We, we had, just the other day, we had a uh, hybrid meeting and, and, and streaming of a, of a North American association. There were people, it was out of New York, but they came here. Uh, people from all over North America were here, but there were 70 people right here with, you know, big screens with uh, people coming from all over the world uh, on that. And uh, the first top space got the pillars in that we have to, you know, jockey around, but we've had presentations, talks in here, you know, after talks or shows, that kind of thing, but receptions here. Now, in the Bluma, it's 868 people. Out here, two levels, 616. So again, if you had a full capacity, uh, say you had some kind of a gala event where they're gonna have some kind of entertainment in there first, and it was 868, so you would need the lobby spaces of the Jane Mallet Theater to, to uh, compensate for that full capacity. Six, 616 over here, 287 over there. So we're gonna, we're gonna check out upstairs first and then we'll go into the theater. So upper lobby, another open and airy space. Uh, again, looking out the Bercy Park, there's a bar down there. We use this for receptions and we've had small dinners, we've had talks up here. So whatever you can envision, uh, we will make it happen. Here. Um, it's the Balmer Lounge, it's kind of a VIP area, or again, whatever you want to make it into, but come on and check this out. Hold on a second. Okay, we've got this Balmer Lounge, kind of a cool little space. You know, if you, you had the necessity to have a group of people, you know, 20 up to 30 people uh, sequestered away by themselves for any time period, this would be the space to do it. Again, our furniture in here, you can use that, or if we needed to, to move it out and bring something else in, um, whatever you need, we can make it happen.
So we're gonna we're gonna head back downstairs and into the theater. washrooms on both levels. Then you, you've got entrances into the theater, like multiple entrances. We're gonna, we'll go right here through the center. And here we are on the orchestra level of the Bluma Appell Theater. So total 868 seats in here, 525 on the orchestra level. Just a, a, a cool space. Now this has a traditional proscenium stage. It's got uh, three loges or boxes or uh, on either side, which is very cool to be up in those boxes. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take a little tour back of house, and we'll come around and eventually we'll come back on the stage and check it out. But let's see what we have back of house. Now, as we go there, um, back, back out, this, this building was built in 1970. Right now, we're in the process of, and we more, Leslie Lester, the vice president of St. Lawrence Center Redevelopment, is heading up this pro process. Uh, they're looking at what they can do to this space to, to redevelop it, uh, to make it better serve the community. Um, it, it's, it's right in the, in the middle of things right now. So if you, you want to have any questions on that, you can reach out to Leslie Lester with TO Live. But uh, we, we now are booking this until the end of 2024. So after that, then they would be, I'm, cer I'm certain, a down period of time to redo, to, to uh, renovate, uh, and just make this space better. So we're back of house now, where the, uh, the guests don't see. And I, I said that partially because this does remind me of like 1970s high school area. So it, it, it could use some refreshing. Uh, number of dressing rooms. I'll just show you one, they're all very similar. Smaller, got a couple makeup stations. We have a washroom and a shower. And that's this is number eight. There's not there's like nine of these across here. There's a green room as well, it's got a couch in it, but but again, it does the decor does not change, just so you know. But just I wanted to show you that back of house here. This is the Bluma side. So anything going on the Bluma, this comes with it. We're down in the back of house portion. We're just going to quickly check out the St. Lawrence, or sorry, the Jane Mallet side for uh, dressing rooms. And then we're going to go up and take you on the stage and go quickly, and then we'll be done. OK, 
Okay, Jane Mallet's got four of these. Smaller dressing rooms, couple makeup stations, toilet, and shower. Now, again, a lot of times for corporate meetings, you don't even need this kind of thing. But if you had speakers or even staff, volunteers, you needed a space for them, we've got it. Now, just a quick little peek at the rehearsal hall. Again, for corporate, uh, not a lot of use for this, this type of space, but you, you never know. If you need an ancillary space to go with the plenary, uh, you might be able to use it for something, but just what you see is what you get. I will. Door here. Just watch your step, whack them. We will start with the stage. Let's check out the stage from Jane Mount Theater first. And, <coughs> excuse me, I will say, just right around the corner there's stage door. So if you had VIPs or somebody that you did not want coming in through the front entrance, they could enter through stage door, come right in here to a dressing room. Um, or you know, up to the Balmer Lounge to a VIP area, whatever you need. Let's check out the Jane stage. See, this goes right onto the stage. And, and this seems like a pretty intimate audience. I mean, you know, I'm standing here. If I'm a presenter, 499 people. It's it's uh. It's pretty cool, I must say. Obviously, I'm biased, but uh, this is this is a nice environment, a cool vibe. So again, just the, se the the semicircle protruding stage. But if I go back here, and I can't, there's a door out there that goes backstage. But this is it. This cyclorama is it. Again, there's a door out there that you can go backstage. But come on out. We'll, we'll check out the Bluma. I apologize for the lighting. I will point out something. We're a union house, so the good thing about that is any type of production, we've got the crew to do it, the crew that has experience, have been in here for years, but also it means that the only lights that I can turn on are those, so we can't make it any brighter in here at the moment. So excuse the different equipment here. I think that's a, a dance floor that they're rolling in. Um, one of the most recent things that we had in here, just to, to name a couple, we, we do a fair amount of uh, film shoots. We had Handmaid's Tale in here uh, maybe a month ago. So season five, the first episode, there's a ballet scene that's on this stage. So that was very cool to see how they did all that. Um, you had some of the principal actors, Elizabeth Moss being one of them, Bradley Whitford being another one, and, and they were they were directing some episodes. So they were in here. They, that crew was in here a lot. Uh, great to work with, and the, the stars were awesome too. But so this is a proscenium stage. So we got the, the rectangular opening that goes out into the stage, and then a curtain can come down. So you could set this up as minimal as a you know box it off for a comedian or or a presenter. Uh, you know. A, keynote speaker, or you could utilize the whole stage for, say, ballet, um, things like that that are on the other side of the business. I'm, I'm here to talk about corporate and private, uh, but, but very versatile. And 868 people out there, again, it, it seems, for 868 people, it seems pretty intimate that you're, you're a speaker, you kind of, you can talk to them all. But, uh, that, that's going to end the tour. We've basically seen everything in here. Two spaces, 499, 868, lobby spaces. But remember, 616 on the one side, 287 on the other side. Let us know if you have any questions. 
and uh, check us out for the next one we do. We will do uh, the site inspection virtually of Meridian Arts Center coming up. Thank you. Thank you.